Today we are going to study about lattice parameter or lattice constant which is also called as crystallographic parameter. Before moving on towards Weger's, uh, Weger's law, this is a concept that should be clear. So before moving on towards lattice parameter, let's understand what is a unit cell. Consider this is a unit cell. It is the most basic form of a crystal. So this unit cell, this exact structure, if we repeat this structure continuously, in three directions that is x y and z that would lead to the formation of a crystal now let's understand what is lattice parameter the a b and c the three sides or dimensions of the three sides of this unit cell is nothing but our lattice parameter and these a b and c decide what kind of unit cell we have so let's understand different types of unit cell based on lattice parameter. here we see in a cubic structure, we have a equal to b equal to c. Tetragonal structure is given by a equal to b not equal to c. Here we see orthorhombic structure is given by a not equal to b not equal to c, so on and so forth. Thus, a lattice parameter or crystallographic parameter gives the different type of crystal system that we have on our hands. Now, let us understand what is the relation between the crystallographic parameter and radius of atoms involved in the crystal. So let's for that consider, let's derive the relation between lattice parameter and radius of an FCC crystal. FCC means face centered cubic. So this is a face centered cubic structure. Since it's a cubic structure, A is, B is equal to B equal to C. That is all the three lattice parameters are equal. We can just call them A. Next, what we'll do, we'll consider only the front face of this FCC structure. Let's consider only this front face. It looks kind of like this. So here we see, let's consider point A, point B and point C. So at lattice point A, it is surrounded by an atom. Lattice point B is surrounded by an atom and C is also surrounded by an atom. So if we consider atom A, so R would be its radius. If we consider atom B, again R would be its radius. And in this unit cell, if we consider atom C, so C's two time radius is included in this face of the unit cell. We can just separately look at this triangle. So what do we have here is radius of atom A, radius of atom B and radius of the combined atom C. So 2R. So the total length of this diagonal, total length of this diagonal becomes R plus R plus 2R that is 4R. Now as we know, AD and BD are nothing but the lattice parameters which are both equal A and A. So if you look at the triangle ABD, we can use Pythagoras theorem to find out relation between A and R. So by Pythagoras theorem, we have got AD square plus BD square is equal to AB square. Just putting in the values we get A square plus A square equal to 4R square. Solving this we get 2A square equal to 16R square. So A would be equal to 2 root 2 into R. A would be equal to A square is 8R square. So taking square root on both the sides A equal to 2 root 2 into R. Thus for FCC structure, lattice parameter A is equal to 2 root 2 multiplied by R. Similarly, we can find out relation between A and R for different kinds of crystal structures. In a similar fashion, we can find out the relation between A and R for simple cubic. For simple cubic, it comes out to be A is equal to 2 times R. Similarly, for body centered cubic, it comes out to be a is equal to, it comes out to be A equal to 4 upon root 3 into R. So this was a general overview of what is a lattice parameter. Now you can move ahead and study about Weigert's law.